What's up, Dragon Slayers, and welcome to the next episode of Dark Souls 3, where we are hopefully going to at least beat Iudex Gundir. Yes, I uh, apparently pronounced him wrong. Also, I've been reading a little bit on the game. Apparently, I need precise timing. Uh, there. I did not mean to take... I feel like I should just already restart this. Let me restart this really quickly. There. Oh, come on. I got caught on him. I'm a little irritated because for some reason it took away my club. Alright, we're already not doing great. It's the, it's the 360 controller I'm using, I'm guessing. It's weird. Okay, we're good. There we go. Ah, I did just wake up from a nap. So maybe that's it. Maybe I'm still a little groggy, a little sleepy from that. Come on. That was a good miss. And we'll take out this guy really quickly. The minute he comes after me, come on. Yeah, so apparently I need precise timing in order to dodge a lot of stuff from the bosses, which is something that was not necessarily required in Dark Souls 1 and 2. Wow, I'm surprised my bloodstain's still here. I mean, I guess technically I haven't died again since then. All right, Iodex Gundir. Apparently this is more like akin, as far as the speed, it's like a little bit closer to Bloodborne, which I have not played yet. Ah, shoot. Let me just use an Estus right quick. I just gotta beat him and I think Oh, watch out. No reason to use an SS yet. Alright, here we go. Phase 2. Let's go. Phase 2 is what I have trouble with, though, is the problem. I forgot that he brings the claw back. I forgot that's a 3 heart attack. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I totally forgot that was a three-part attack. Woo! Somehow barely dodged that one. We're doing better. Okay, there we go. Is that... Hmm. That could have been dangerous. Okay, yeah, nice try. I know you're trying to eat me. We're doing much better against them this time. Now that we're actually trying to use our rolls as precise as possible. 
Yeah, I think we're good. We might actually beat him this time. Yeah. So you... Let's just get the last hit in. There we go. Woo! Already doing better than last episode. Hair of fire destroyed. So we beat Ayudex Gundir. Ah, perfect. Switch action. Let's go ahead and rest at our bonfire. Equipment. We got a coiled sword. Club. Clerics say a crit chime, which we can't. We older yet, it seems like. Yeah, effectively with present attributes. That's fine. I saw a coiled sword. Maybe it's just an item. Whatever. Well, we managed to beat him at least. That's fantastic. Open the doors. Open the gates. Wonder how much further we get till we can get to the town where we can like upgrade and do all that stuff. Broken straight sword. All right, well, is there anyone? There's one guy right there. Actually, I guess there's two of them. Oh, there's four of them right here, okay. I see you. Consequently, I can also go up this way. Totally avoid him. Oh, what's this? Firelink Shrine. Okay. Oh, who are you? Ah, another one roused from the sleep of death. Well, you're not alone. We unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. <laughs> Gives me conniptions. And they'd have us seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. But we're talking true legends with the metal to link the fire. Not fit to lick their boots. Interesting. Who are you? Welcome to the bonfire, unkindled one. I'm a firekeeper. Ah. Oh. I tend to the flame and tend to thee. The lords have left their thrones and must be delivered to them. To this end, I am at thy side. Nice. Ashen one, to be unkindled <clears throat> is to be a vessel for souls. Sovereignless souls will become thy strength. I'll show thee how. Okay. Ashen one, bring me souls plucked from their vessels. Farewell. Let's leave. Let's find the bonfire. There's got to be a bonfire in Firelink Shrine. Oh, who are you? A pleasure to make thine acquaintance, Ashen one. I am but a humble handmaid of the shrine. Weapons, armor, trinkets. Spells. I've lots of little things to ease the burden of a weary traveler. And yes, I'm undead too, but not so charitable as to give my goods away. Ashen One, fetch souls and bring them to me. All right, so as, as I want. No. <laughs> okay. Let me see what I can get. An ember. What do you got? A 
Okay, so there's some magic if I want to start learning magic. I think our best bet is to probably get a sword though. Yeah, obviously can't do that. Sorcerer's Staff. Okay, so this actually begs the question of what path we want to go down. Can't use a Schmitter yet. I'll definitely buy that and I'll buy a Crimson Parma as far as that goes. We need to like start, I think equipping ourselves with armor is like probably a little bit better than leveling up. I mean, we need to leave something to level up as well, but I don't necessarily need the gauntlets. Ashen one. Bring more souls. Yeah, yeah, I got it. You want souls. <laughs> so I should be able to... Oh, broken short sword. But I got a short sword. Which I actually would prefer. And we'll equip... Oh, whoops. Yeah, we'll equip those. Okay, that looks better. Looks much better. Get a chain helm. Get a chain armor. And switch loincloth for chain leggings. My weight ratio is 45.6, so... It'll be a little bit harder for me to move. But at least we look a little bit better. Ashen, produce the core. The mark of Ash will guide thee to Lothric. I'll produce the coil. Ember, the coiled sword. Okay, there. That's how we get our bonfire set. Right here. And we'll rest at bonfire. Burn undead bone shard. I forgot, I got the soul of a nameless soldier as well. Eh, I could afford those leather gloves now. Ah, so let's go ahead and buy the leather gauntlets. Equip the leather gauntlets, that's gonna be a 50. So, so far we're like going swordish. I don't really want to try magic yet. Very well. Then touch the dark. Take none. Um. Let's see. Vigor will get us more HP. More resistances. Attunement. Gets more FP. More resistances. Endurance. More resistances. Vitality is just like pretty much straight. Oh, that'll allow us to equip more. Which is not horrible. And it also ups our damage. Strength is just straight up damage. Let's go up that. Sorry, I gotta see everything. Dexterity actually increases our damage as well. Intelligence, yeah. I mean, it figures it would increase our magic. Faith would increase our resistance to dark and our resistances overall. And then luck is just item discovery? Okay. Um, okay. Okay, here's how we'll go. We'll go vigor. Not vigor. We'll go vitality. Strength up. And vigor. That'll get us started. So that'll get us started. I'm pretty sure this guy just repairs. Well, a newcomer, I see. As a humble suit, you're in search of a toilsome journey. Let me smith. I am a smith. Okay. So I can make the weapon stronger. 
Security, be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so shall we go this way then? Well, let's go up. Where's up take us? Just up to the Firelink Shrine. So the Firelink Shrine is our safe area. It'll be good to remember that. Come on down this way. Visions of Sadness. Okay. I think this is the way we're supposed to go next. Oh, maybe not. That just leads to nothing. Okay. So we're actually going to go back. Because I kind of have a hunch that the mobs that I was facing are probably the way that I'm supposed to go. It's probably a safe guess. Alright, here we go. That was stupid damage, actually. That I took. Oh, what's right here? An ember. Now the question is, should we learn some magic? I don't know quite yet. Oh, there's a lot of death right here already. Oh my gosh, right here. Look at that. Oh, wow, okay. Well, I apparently did that wrong. Totally went the wrong way. I was gonna say, I missed the knight. Where is he? There's the knight. Oh, what is this? Oh, I was like, there's mist. Uh, we could just go for like a knight build, I suppose. What is this, party practice?
I guess that's what it is. This is party practice, I suppose. Are you kidding me? That actually got me. Wow, I'm a little upset by that. <laughs> this is practice party. <sighs> oh, I see. The Ember grants more health. Isn't that the way I need to go? Okay, there we go. Those guys were easy enough. So that's what this guy is, he's party practice. So I can't party his jump attack, which is fine to know, I suppose. Come on, hurry up and disappear, Fog. good enough for me. Let's go back to our party practice. Why did my character just keep walking up there? I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. Like, my character just kept walking up there. Um, that was weird. Like I said, go back, and my character's like, oh no, I want to keep going forward. That was freaky. We'll try the party practice one more time. And I mean, if we don't. If we don't manage to do it, then it's whatever. Okay, perfect. Don't think we're gonna get those souls back. Which actually, that's only like 300 souls, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay. I don't get it. Yeah, we're not getting those souls back. Those souls are gone. And we got time to try one more. Cause like, I legitimately just couldn't do anything. This guy does too much damage and I feel like that's the way we gotta go, unfortunately. I don't know which other way I would go.
Waiting for the fog to disappear. There we go. There we go. Sure, we'll get our 40 back. Take that. Oh, of course. Well, we got 2,000 souls for it, at least. Eh, yeah, might as well go level up. I think I went the wrong way. Don't think I'm supposed to go that way yet, but hey. I'll definitely take a free 2,000 souls. Ah, uh, this is probably a good winding down point anyway. Yeah, I knew I was going to take some fall damage, but that's fine. Ashen will produce the mark to lock. Very well, then touch take no. Hmm. We could go Vitality again. Vitality and Dexterity? Vitality... Neither Strength or Dexterity. Strength seems to get us a little bit more, actually, so... That'll take care of that. Of course. Well, we're going to rest of the bonfire. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, uh, feel free to leave a like and also follow if you want to... Or subscribe if you want to follow this fun series. I think I've died probably seven or eight times already. So there is that. Hey, well, you know. What are you going to do? But anyway, thanks for tuning in. We will see you guys later and goodbye.